Welcome, welcome. It's the First and Short Podcast with JJ and the Goose. I'm the Goose. And uh, a recent story in Major League Baseball is that shamed outfielder Melky Cabrera of the Giants recently gave up his opportunity to be considered for the batting title uh, for the National League Best Batting Average. Um, we're not going to talk about that, but it got me thinking about another interesting point. If you remember, Melky Cabrera was the MVP of the National League All-Star Game win, which gave the National League home field advantage in the World Series based on Bud Selig's retarded logic. And my question is to you, JJ, Melky's already given up the batting title. Should he and the National League get up, give up home field advantage because he was obviously roiding when he led the National League in victory in the All-Star Game? Now, before I do this statement, I must preface, you know I'm a diehard Texas Rangers fan. So I'll be biased and say, Yes, give the freaking American League some home field advantage because I'm tired of losing to teams from the National League who are not as good at us because we are not built to have our pitchers back. So, yes, Melky Cabrera and the NL, give up. Give it up. Give up home field advantage. Let the team with the best record have it. I don't have a problem with the team that represents the National League. If the Washington Nationals go to the World Series, damn it, they deserve to have home field advantage for having the best record. But give it to the team with the best record and Melky Cabrera's steroid ass can sit the hell down. The American League always wins the All-Star Game. I don't know what's going on in the recent history. But, yeah, I think they should give it up. What do you think? Dude, it, it's a cloud. It's a dark, Barry bond size head cloud rising over baseball. <laughs> I can't believe this doesn't get more press. I mean, where is Bob Costas telling us that the full shame of baseball and how the numbers have been ruined? Melky Cabrera just ruining baseball with his Terrid steroid use in the All-Star game. I mean, it kind of makes sense. You knew something was fishy when the National League won the All-Star game two years in a row. I mean, that does not happen. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. I mean, someone had to be cheating for that to happen. And so, honestly, I think, you know, that, that was our first tip that Melky was, was on the juice. And so, it's only natural to me that they have to forfeit it. I mean, that, that's what we do in baseball. We put asterisks by stuff. So, I think they need to asterisk that game up. Pretend like it never happened, like baseball pundits want to pretend 15 years of baseball never happened. And they should just give it, they should give home field advantage this season to whoever has the best record. I mean, God knows they play enough interleague ball these days. You know, they really, that's what they ought to be doing. But, you know, but see, look, God bless his soul, thought we should take an exhibition game, exhibition game and give it unquantitated, you know, outcome and make sure that everybody knows that it's important. It's very important. That's how we're going to determine home field advantage uh, for, for the most important series of the season in baseball. We're going to base it off an exhibition game where guys roid. So I, I'm all for just giving, instead of giving it to the American League, just give it to the team with the best record like it should be done, like it's done in every other sport. It's such a cockamimi, you know, way of determining it. I think it's really a joke. Um, <clears throat> and you thought we wouldn't have the word cock in this podcast. Well, on that note, I don't. Th I think that sums it up quite well. Thanks again for uh, listening to another edition of the First and Short podcast. Like my man, Mr. T says, I pity a fool don't tell his friend to listen to the First and Short podcast. Thanks again. Be safe, and we'll catch you on the next. Oh, we'll catch you on the flip side.